reason that we call the transforming generator. And the reason for that is because this machine actually incorporates uh, two separate technologies in one embodiment. It's um, both a generator and a transformer. And in order to demonstrate that and then explain why it's useful, I'm going to run this device for you and produce a, an interesting little experiment here. The, um, the main reason I built it was actually to study the difference between EMF and voltage. Now, I know that um, most people think that they're the same, but they're not. Uh, an EMF is called electromotive force. That's the force that pushes current. And the current passing through an impedance, which could be a resistor, a capacitor, a conductor, or whatever, uh, actually the pressure of the charge that cannot flow through the impedance simultaneously is what develops the phenomenon that we call voltage. So it's okay to use them interchangeably for certain calculations when you understand what you're doing. Uh, for the application of three plus laws for studying mesh and load equations, but there are times when you really have to keep them segregated. And so I built this particular machine to allow me to concentrate on the force aspect of this separately from the voltage aspect. Now, a lot of the results of that are proprietary. I'm not going to go into the details, but I will show you a couple of interesting features and We'll use that to further the explanation of the machine. Uh, first of all, there are two sets of windings in this machine. One set is brought out on this pair of, of lines, and the other set is brought out on this set of wires. Now, this, these two conductors go directly to this 300-watt bulb. The ones from this side do not come directly to this bulb. They go through this little selector switch, this little uh, knife switch down here. One side of that knife switch has a copper bar across it, which essentially constitutes So silly. Such a silly girl. Such a pretty lady. Gonna eat the threads. You are done. The scratchy gear. Look at. Okay. All right. Got Mike and Mac, Mr. Meals. Obviously, my flag. It's obviously a thunder titty. I say it was a T. Thunder titty. T I D D Y. Thunder titty. The white toe, orange toe, white foot, orange leg, uh, eyebrow, eyebrow, cleft palate, white chin, black chin ring around the tail. Yep, and they still had your ear cut off like a dummy. Oh, that's a dummy. I don't know why you want to chew on that. It's gross. And I'm going to take it away in a minute. Oh, so now. So now you're just going to play. Just kidding.
You have been playing for eight minutes, you crazy lady. Look at this screen. Yeah, look at those eyebrows. Brown eyebrow, brown eyebrow, cleft palate, half white chin, black chin, orange leg, black leg, white toe, ring around the tail. Are you just going to sit there with it in your mouth? Are you just going to sit there with it in your mouth? You have too much fun for one titty. You have too much fun for one titty. D I D D Y, a uh, diddy. Like P. Diddy. I have never seen a string have so much fun with a kitty. Oh, goodness. Oh, my. Orange arm. You're a righty. Oh, you're a lefty. Like your dad. Like your pow pow. Oh, your titty. Titty lady. Oh, you slap it? Or are you going to slap it? You don't slap people. Can't eat it. It's a metal, tiny string, metal string. Oh, you funny. You funny person. You're such a good person. Thunder! Come here. Come here, Coco. Come here, Cookie Mooga Mooga. Cookie Googie Loogie. You're just a baby. Oh, you're gonna purr? You're just a baby. Did you have your string? Did you have your string? Oh, is that yours? Oh, is that yours? Is that yours? I could get you. I could get you. I can get you. I will. I will get you. I can do it. I can do it. Oh, goodness. We're in trouble now. That's how it all starts. You slap that box, too. Silly lady. <gasps> what is that? Thunder! Kitty! Thunder! Kitty, 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 Wow! She's having so much fun, she's not even paying attention to my ass. You cute lady. Silly. Oh. Wire box, box wire, receipt wire and box. All three cheap toys for free. Two titties. <gasps> is that, is that a box? Yo, this kitty loves boxes. She loves a Mountain Dew box. She's too big now, but she always used to climb in there and hide when she was a little girl. Not hide, but play. She's so playful. I just can't believe that under a year old, and she weighs like 16 pounds, and I know I spoil her, you know. I got 12 packs of kitty treats and canned food all over the place and bags of food, and I give her milk and I give her people food. Um, what do you guys think? I know they're carnivores and you sh they are meat eaters. You know, dogs are omnivores and sometimes even herbivores, but kitties are carnivores. So the best thing for a cat head, kitty butt, is meat and protein. Plus, they hunt outside. She loves a crunchy, fat moth and a grasshopper and even a lizard. I seen this cute little skink. It was so pretty. It was blue. And I said, look at Kitty. And she hopped on and went, ark, ark, and killed it and ate it. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm sure those hard-skinned, little, shiny skink lizards can't be that delicious. But you can't tell that lady that. She is a hunter. So this is Mike Black, Mike the Mac, Mr. Meals, definitely not inside of any building. Please like, share, and subscribe. It costs you nothing, and it means the world to Tundra Titty. Thunder. Thank you, you guys. God bless and love you all.